Marty McNair, father of the late Jordan McNair, says this decision feels like he's been punched in the stomach and somebody spit in his face. Adam Lungo explains how this decision affects more than just the football team. Well, Darren, I'm the biggest Maryland fan you're going to find anywhere. I graduated from College Park. I'm a part time professor in the College of Journalism. I am appalled, embarrassed, disgusted by the actions of the university, the athletic department, and the football program tonight. Watch this. It's not professional. What you guys do? Coach Durkin, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah. Get your hand off of me. Uh, Coach Durkin, is there anything you'd like to say? Can't use that film at all, can you? Putting your hands on reporters, talking trash. Here's Maryland starting quarterback Kasim Hill leaving practice, showing our sports producer Tom Hunsicker. He thinks Tom is number one. Really, Kasim? Listen, I know these student athletes have had a terrible deal this year. They've lost a friend and a teammate. Their coach is here, then he's gone, now he's back. But this football team and its leadership had an opportunity today to show its fan base, to show the campus community, to show potential recruits, and to show America that despite the negative attention that's dogged this program, they were going to persevere, overcome, and make us proud. Pushing around our reporters and flipping off news cameras is not going to get that done. Listen, I want to embrace this program. I want to hear Coach Durkin say, we're going to do better. We're going to first and foremost take care of our student athletes' health, and we're going to have a hell of a football program that everybody can be proud of. But what did we hear? Nothing. What's going to turn this around? Transparency, honesty, apologies, and positivity. Four things severely lacking on campus tonight.